Hey everybody, it's Friday evening. Welcome back to Hammercat Games. Hammercat! And you know what time it is. It's time to beat up the news. My name's producer Mike, and with me tonight is Kato in Motion. Wagwan. <laughs> and we're really happy to be joining you guys. It is a hot evening here in Brussels, Belgium. I know it's Northern Europe. And some may say it doesn't get hot here. It does get hot here for like a couple weeks. All these European cities are just giant heat sinks, guys. They chop all the trees down and just <laughs> put it in like brick and stone. It's hot. <laughs> well, it's hot in the studio. Uh, air conditioning's not a thing here. We've got the window open, the fan on high. If you hear a little bit of white noise, pause for silence. If you hear that, that's a fan because, you know, Got to get that air circulation going. Can't have us passing out on the stream. You know, Cato in Motion, speaking of things getting hot, let's talk about climate change. Let's talk about a little bit of plastic in the ocean. Let's talk about a little bit of um, pollution, right? Happy topics. Yeah. <laughs> We're all about the happy topics here on Beating Up the News. Are we beating up the news or is the news beating up us? I'll leave that to you guys as a rhetorical question to ponder on while we continue. So um, really interesting research uh, and experiments coming out of um, published out of UC San Diego. So UC San Diego has um, a team of grad students, uh, a couple professors and a startup all collaborating on something. It's basically out of UC San Diego. And what they're trying to do, Kevin, mm -hmm. is they're trying to say, yeah, our, our photo here is of some uh, flip-flop sandals. We call them flip-flops in the States. You guys call them flip-flops in Canada? Yep. Yeah. So sandals, little disposable sandals. And uh, I'm a fan. I'm wearing Birkenstock sandals right now because I'm a leftist freaking Bernie bro hippie. But I um, wear Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm guilty of contributing, you know, uh, plastic into the ocean. I might be good about this or that, but I'm not a saint when it comes to renewables, reusables, uh, reducing. I just I, yeah, I do what I can. Living out here in Brussels, it's a little easier. We go to like one of those stores where it's containerless. You know? We also only have one beach, so I mean, how often? As far as beaches go, I don't contribute that much because oh. I just don't frequent them. But. And we are not sponsored by Crocs, guys. <laughs> but if Crocs, if you want to sponsor us, we'll take it. So this study coming out of UC San Diego is um, – what they're developing are algae-based polymers, so algae-based plastics, so that they can make sandals that come from living algae. They're not living anymore by the time they're done with the polymer. And then they also make them biodegradable. How does that even work? Well, you know, I don't have my PhD in chemistry, so I can't explain it to you in detail. But it's I mean, just... you're on YouTube and you're explaining it. So anything you say is truth, essentially. So I will believe you. And you should, too. I mean, algae's kind of sticky, whatever. So you just kind of, I don't know, you fiddle with it and you make a thing. I mean, you fiddle with it and you make a thing over many years of research and a team of very smart people and this and that. That makes sense. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna Jerry Seinfeld yada 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 this one like you just have to trust the process I trust the scientists here you put in a I giant trust. cylinder and you just shake it up with some of those chemicals and boom pour it in a mold you got and, your algae flip -flop. well you know speaking of the mold it's interesting you bring that up because um, one of the points I wanted to talk about was that they're not actually um, what they what they talk about when something's made of Something like an algae, so something made from a, a biological. They call that bio content or bio content if you're European. So <laughs> these sandals, are they 100% bio content or bio content? No, they're 52%, okay? Ah. So, so they're 48%, you know, more traditional plastics, okay? And there's many different types of plastics, by the way. Uh, I was actually thinking about developing a video game um, about – or not a video game. It was a story about what if the world all of a sudden had no plastic. And then I went on a lot of Wikipedia, and I was like, there's a lot of head-scratching because there is no one type of 
plastic. When you talk about plastic, it's let's like it's. I mean, it's in our clothes, guys. Look, all those nice stretchy pants that women like to wear. And chemistry wear. was my only C in all of high school. I graduated with honors, and I got a mm -hmm. C in chemistry. Our teacher, really nice guy, but he spoke in a monotone voice. I fell asleep every day, and I got a C. It's really embarrassing. It was a C plus, but. I was awake and I still got a C. Chemistry was not. Good. I didn't get C's in high school, man. I got A's and B's, but I got a C in chemistry. It was really bad. But anyways, I'm not very good at chemistry, so I struggle to explain it. Um, you just titrate a bunch of but shit. But <laughs> in all my Wikipedia for that kind of story research, I did discover that plastics are complex. I should do my Trump impression and say, N nobody knew how how complex plastics were um no i mean plastics are a lot more complex it's uh and actually yeah. recycling plastics can be correspondingly complex anyways we're already derailing the point is is that 52 percent of these um uc san diego flip-flops sandals they've made out of an algae compound okay and then 48 percent are made out of other polymers however what they've done in their testing actually is they've just using soil and salt water and sunlight, they've uh, <clears throat> assisted the sandal to to break down, to biodegrade, all right? And during the biodegrading process, they're at this other 48%, probably not all 48%, but there's a big chunk of it that's left over. And what they're able to do is take that 48% and reuse it with more, what's it called, bio content? With bio more content. bio content, and then create the next generation of sandal. Which is interesting. So their goal is to get to 100%, obviously. Their goal is, yes. But does this not require you to then send in the sandal back to the company so they could do this? Because, I mean, the minute you put it in the trash, they're not going to sort through trash to find these sandals they they uh, hopefully they have like a program for it uh the article didn't talk about that yet because there's they're still not to the stage where they're scaling up yet uh, but um i know nike has some kind of program about returning shoes to them so that they can turn them into new future shoes mm. but um i was a loyal nike user and i never found the bin that yeah, i think it must be at specific nike stores so yeah you're right that's a problem like the return of these materials to make that the scaling for that needs to happen but like anything else so okay it's beating up the news it's friday night so we have to bring up tesla so for example <laughs> yeah electric cars a lot of the complaint was for adopting electric cars was that there weren't enough stations to to recharge yep even before the tesla like chevy volt that was a big complaint right and that was a legitimate enough complaint, but then the infrastructure was built and then people now you can go using GPS and locating where these charge stations are. You can actually pretty much drive your electric car around quite a few continents and, and, and do all right with recharge stations. So I think this is that too, you know, like these are early stages for these sandals, right? Yeah. Eventually, they'll be adopted. Eventually, the return stations. And the type of people who are going to want to buy these sandals are going to want to care about, hey, once this starts, to, once I want this to biodegrade, where do I send it? I feel like maybe it'll come in the literature with the uh, with the shoe packaging. I don't know. I'm sure they'll know. incentivize it or something. Maybe you can, maybe like, yeah. maybe like when you buy a bottle of like some kind of liquid or something here in Europe and, and many places in the States too, you can return it and get money back for the bottle. Maybe they'll give you money back for returning your shoes. Yeah. Or they'll give you 20% off your next off pair your next of pair. your shoes. There you go. Or there's a lot of ways it could there's go about of, doing there's it. There's a lot of like loyalty no, uh, get me bonuses. Wrong. Like, I think know? this is great. I'm not trying to like punch holes no, in no, no, and be no. like, ah, oh, it's flawed. But. You're, you're, you're asking solid questions. The article didn't necessarily go into that. Cause I think that's, that's the next couple steps. Science. That's the next couple of You're not I, the marketing. I think I think you're a couple steps ahead of where they're at currently. So I just wanted to read a couple quotes. Um, so the research paper, this is uh, a quote by uh, Stephen Mayfield. He's a professor that's on the team. Okay. Um, there's a grad 
there's someone who I think is getting their master's degree or someone who's getting their PhD who's who's taking the lead on it, but they didn't answer the interview questions. One of the professors answered the interview questions. Hey, man, it's journalism. What can you do? Maybe Stefan was available and somebody else wasn't. But uh, Stefan Mayfield, Dr. Stefan Mayfield, the professor down at um, one of the three professors San on the team. Diego? Yeah, yeah. UC U- San Diego. UC San Diego. Um, so he quoted as saying, uh, quote, the paper shows that we have commercial quality foams that biodegrade in the natural environment. After hundreds of formulations, we finally achieved one. So this is after a lot of trial and error. They finally yeah. achieved one that met commercial specifications. So that's something I didn't mention before is that's what's really critical about this. They're trying to make these shoes like commercially viable. They're trying to mm-hmm. pass commercial regulations, commercial specifications so that they can put these shoes on the market right next to, you know, plastics that are made out of oil. Yeah, I mean, I guess the challenge that well, after this, the next step is once you do that, can you make it cheaper or as cheap as the oil-based plastics? Because, I mean, if you have companies like Nike using it or all these other bigger companies that just have massive supply chains and just, quite frankly, produce these huge volumes of product, that's when it really makes a difference, right? Number one, yes, the article First talks step. about that, about making it cheaper. And number two... My bone to pick is that many governments subsidize oil and thus the plastics industry. Come on, Tesla, the traditional make plastics it irrelevant. What, what I'm saying is that I if it was an even playing field to begin with, not saying these not saying these universities don't get funding either. Let's be fair, you know, but if if fossil fuels didn't get as many um and the United States is not the only country that's no, that's, God, no. that's that's giving. What, what, I, why did I just brain fart on the word? The the, the word that begins with S that subsidies. means subsidies. So thank you, thank you. Gotcha. It's been a long day. I've been teaching English since uh, eight in the morning. I've been drinking since eight. <laughs> it's Friday evening. It's beating up the news with Hammer Guy Games. Not uh, true, by the way. So we, yes, many countries, including the United States, subsidize. Uh, fossil fuel companies. And so that's, I guess that's my bone to pick with it. Like, why are these things so cheap? Number one, they've had decades to build this infrastructure. Okay. So give the newbies a chance to make it cheaper over time. As many renewables have proven, they do get cheaper over time, you know? And number two, the subsidies make it unfair. So both definitely, even though there's public funding for universities. So you know, got to got to call a spade a spade. So the rest of his quote said, uh, "These foams, the foams that they developed that are commercially viable, are 52 percent of bio content. That's what I mentioned. Eventually, we'll get to 100 percent. So their goal is to make 100 percent bio content sandals mm-hmm. uh, that will be 100 percent biodegradable. Right? For now, they're partially biodegradable, and they're asking you to return. So your question about returning the other 48 percent, yeah, even that might be." Like the answer to your question will be, okay, here's the solution we have. But ultimately in the laboratory, we want to make these so that it's a non-issue. Ultimately, yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe they could do something cool like partner with a Salvation Army big in the U.S. as far as yeah. like having tons of, you know, partner with Salvation, like a Salvation Army, Army Goodwill, Army Goodwill's another or one. Or Goodwill, mm-hmm. and then you could just dump it off there and they collect them from all those locations. That'd be great. They have those they bins everywhere. Cut. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a good one. <sighs> A partnership. That'd yeah. be good. So um, I just wanted to point out that why is this a big issue? Well, 96 billion tons of plastic are expected to be in landfills or nature, the natural environment, they say, by 2050. 96 wow. billion tons. That's insane. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mike, but I think oil-based plastics take about 400 years to actually break down completely. So that kind of just that keep statistic breaking out, sounds familiar. That smaller. statistic sounds familiar, and and when they break down, they can even cause more environmental damage, especially yeah. in oceans. The micro beads, plastics, and I'm guilty, Kevin. I have a confession to make. I got a confession to make. We got our first dishwasher. I know, fool. And we use the biodegradable pods, and they suck. They suck so bad. Yeah, I was using them for a while too. I switched back to the plastic. Yeah, I'm guilty. I know. I know. I'm so guilty. I didn't pick the article. I don't drive a car. 
Also, don't drive a car. I, I there are things that I, but 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 it's it, it feels like confession. It feels like I'm growing up Catholic again. I got a confession. I know, man. I know. That's Foo Fighters. Thanks, for those Dave Grohl. Thanks, Dave Grohl. <laughs> So um, here's another quick uh, quote. Um, this is from another uh, professor, um, Pomeroy. If you could turn, but quote, if you could turn back the clock and re envision how you could make petroleum, the pole, I'm sorry. If you could turn back the clock and re envision how you could make the petroleum polymer industry, the plastic industry, yeah. would you do it the same today that we did it years ago? There's a bunch of plastic floating in every ocean on this planet that suggests we we shouldn't have done it that way. So um, I think that depends on your moral compass and how much you value wealth and power. I feel like many people would feel, say yes. I feel, I feel like we're. <laughs> I feel well, let's like, not get into. I feel that. like beating up the news is going down its slip, its its inevitable slippery, slippery slope. slope into cynicism and. A really defeatist melancholy. Yeah, I feel like I just got punched in the jugular by the news. <sighs> we beat up the news because uh, if we don't, <laughs> it will beat us up. Hey, man. Algae flip-flops. It's a happy story. I know. This is supposed to be the happy it's one. It's supposed to be happy. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Wow. Don't I worry. Next week, we're going to pick happy earth stories what the shift kevin more space man the next goal rush right i had to drop that at least once yeah it's it's, space a, it's an easter egg it's the new gold so rush. so um we mentioned before that scaling the project and making it more economically viable those are some of their newest goals and obviously getting towards 100 percent bio content that's another goal of theirs um, and just in general, the article mentioned that this department in, in UC San Diego, this is, this is what they do. They do several projects that are like this. They're trying to make, uh, products that are, you know, biodegradable, sustainable, sustainable is a word yep. that needs further yeah. defining, but you know, yeah, sustainable products, sure. biodegradable products, products from bio content. Um, real quick side story, and then we'll get to playing video games. Um, I checked out a university when I was having a, um, a three eighths life crisis. Is that? Yeah. A three eighths yeah. life crisis. Um, a little while ago, I thought maybe I wanted to quit everything and be a luthier, which if you're going to have a three eighths life crisis, it's not a bad one. Anyways, I decided not to, because I decided to just keep doing what I'm doing. But, um, I went to a university in Belgium that specializes in, in this, they have a really famous luthier college and it was a fascinating university visit. Even though I didn't decide to follow through on my three eighths life crisis, it was a really cool educational weekend checking out this university, you know, like luthier schools are fascinating. Right. And the reason I bring this up is people who are getting their master's degree there. There were two of them that were building, um, instruments out of, uh, bio content and recyclable materials, recycled material. Yeah. So it just goes to show you, there's a lot of intelligent people who are trying to, and even, I mean, Kevin and I met through music and through Kate, but through music. And so that's, that's our bond and we're in the music industry and there are even creatives. There are even music instrument builders who are starting to think about this. There are home builders that are starting to think about this and, and who knows, maybe your pair of flip flops and, 2025 on the shelf maybe you pay a little extra and you get some that are made out of 52 percent algae maybe my future sacks will be made out of pure oak it will snap my back in two from the <laughs> weight but man it'll have a nice resonant oh that's a, it's an interesting mean, resonance that yeah that'd be interesting it'll be truly a woodwind <laughs> hey that, I, that's a true statement I, that was confused me as a kid when I played. Yeah, I know. The saxophone the was, my, was my instrument. The... Saxophone was, well, and French horn, too. French horn's in, like... It's not a hermaphrodite. French horn is the tomato of the music instruments families. <laughs> is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? I mean, it's a fruit, but it's debatable, because, you know... Wait, why do you think it's the French horn? It's, like, purely made of brass. Because a French horn appears in... Um, woodwind quintets and woodwind quartets what yeah how did i not know that 
did you study jazz performance in school? Yes. I studied classical composition, bro. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> My nerd is different than your nerd. <laughs> I learned jazz on the side, dude. I learned jazz on the side. That's why I suck at jazz. Oh, man. That's why I'm a total hack, which I think, in my opinion... doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't make any sense. Classical music doesn't make any sense. Anyways, we're off the rails. The yeah, point yeah. is, I don't know. I'm kind of excited about this. I try to find... When, when Kevin and I try to find stories, <laughs> I don't tell him what to do, and I just go with it because I love him. But um, when I try to choose stories, I try to come in it with like a techno optimist angle because the world is troubling true but that's that's my angle is is i want to push this on the channel is a little bit of techno optimism i'm not trying to influence you i'm just trying to say how i approach things and i thought look at these look at the photo we're using here look at the where's my hand where is your hand? oh yeah, yeah. look at the photo we're yeah. using here those are plastic trash those are gonna end up choking a whale you know and this they didn't look good either they look dreadful. So these kind of algae sandals, they'll probably look awful. They'll just be army <laughs> green and horrible looking. But like, who cares, man? Save the earth. I agree. Save the earth, guys. You ready to ride? Vote green party. <laughs> do you have? No, you don't have a green party. Yeah, we have a green party, Kevin. Well, we do here. I Kevin, mean- I voted a green party for president three times. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I know. I'm not laughing <laughs> No, laugh. <laughs> it's a laughing matter. <laughs> Supposed to be objective here. I mean, Ralph Nader, though. Oh. Ralph Nader's a bro. You like those seatbelts in your cars, huh? Ralph yeah. Nader. Yeah, I mean, Ralph Nader. He was the lawyer that pushed that. He was the lawyer that lobbied for seatbelts. I respect you, Ralph. Yeah, Ralph Nader, man. It's true. But yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. You're driving one. But I was really idealistic in my teens and 20s and good, that's good you're supposed good to be for me. bright-eyed bushy-tailed and in your teens you know nothing against third 20s. party voting you know kevin's chuckles Change aside that. nothing against it respect oh man i i no i never voted green i voted green i put my money where my mouth is i, I voted on green. the fence i actually did one of those questionnaires in canada where it's just like okay answer these questions and we'll tell you basically who you align with i did that too the they said green it's a green for and me too i'm like green. no that's why i voted man. green i'm like hey one person one vote i'm gonna Gonna do my thing, and then I had people tell me that I ba- I basically voted Republican. I'm like, no, I didn't. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, I ended up voting. Hey, man, we're talking about algae sandals. We're not talking about that right now. You're right. Save the planet. Get your algae sandals when they come out. I know I'm gonna get them because my sandals are ugly. And guys, and have a plastic. read about the article. I mean, these these good folks down in uh, uh, UC, San UC San Diego are are. I mean, come on, this isn't going to be the biggest story of the day. So, so click on it, you know, give it your eyeballs and, and pay attention to stuff. Like to me, we'll this post is the link in the, of course we always do, but like, this is, this is the, I don't know. I'm going to say something controversial. I think this is the real news, man. I think this is the real news. Not, not Tesla making No, that's also energy. the real news for sure. It's, this is among the real news. This isn't okay, the only okay. real news. The real news is not one story. What I'm saying is. New research coming out that means this is like good news. This is like that dude from the office making some good news, but our show's way more cynical because it's reality. Because this show's not reality, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Come on, it's we're like we're trying whales, to do some good man. news. Yeah. Have you guys some... seen a whale before in person? They're beautiful creatures. I've only seen them in captivity. I've seen. I think I've seen a dead one. Where was I? I saw some wild dolphins oh, last man. year for the first time. I haven't seen a wild dolphin. Before. I've seen. Uh, I saw. A, I, I don't know if you call it a school because they're mammals, but anyways, mm, I saw I a group of, of wild dolphin last year. Is it dolphin or dolphins? It's dolphins. Dolphins. Because it's the Miami Dolphins. Sure. Dan Marino. Okay. Maybe um. So uh, as we transition, and we wanted to bring up. Um. So Kato and Motion and I, we've been really expanding, beating up the news. We hope you guys enjoy it. We we still haven't got quite gotten the the quantity of views to really assess whether or not this is a good program for us. But we've been talking about this for about a month before we ever even launched beating up the news. And we're both really excited about it. Um, obviously we'll, we'll see how it does. And if it, if it doesn't maintain, we'll probably change course. But, um, the thing we want to draw to your attention is we're also doing an audio version. Uh, do you want to tell them a little bit about the audio version of the, the, the podcast? 
So we're doing an audio version, as he just said, and we're using Anchor. So it is available right now on Spotify, but we hope to put it on other platforms. Because Spotify owns Anchor. Yeah. So we hope to put it on other platforms eventually. But for now, it's on Spotify. So if you got Spotify, have a listen. Uh, we also currently have a playlist separate mm -hmm. just for audio takes. So you could also kind of listen to it there. Yeah. Um, and we edited it pretty well. Yeah. Like, put a little bit of music bumpers in. It's a different experience than the YouTube videos. But hey, we'd love to hear your feedback. So if yeah, you want to drop sure. a, a note in the comment, let us know, you know, what you like, what you dislike, and uh, we'll make adjustments, man. We're we're mostly here for ourselves, let's be honest. But <laughs> hey, we're also here for you too, man. At least five percent of it. So <laughs> we've been getting some pretty cool comments. Uh you know, again, not a lot of feedback because not a lot of inputs because this is still an early channel and algorithms don't like new channels. That's for no, sure. No, they don't. But uh, the comments we've been getting have been pretty positive. So we're starting a conversation with people, which On is cool. On that note, please do not forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> we need to feed our families. <laughs> On those like, likes. Yeah. Dude, man, I, I still owe like. God knows how much money on my saxophone. And that's supposed to be my livelihood. That's several Sweet. likes at least. Yeah, at least like and 10, multiple 000. subscribes. Man, if you get get us to ten thousand likes on this video, <laughs> I will smash a saxophone. Ooh. <laughs> that didn't feel good to say. On that note, we'll be right back. Algae We're gonna start sandals. rioting. Yeah. Algae sandals, don't forget. We'll be right back after this break, guys. Welcome back, guys. We are going to play a little bit more of Tonight We Ride, hopefully slightly more successfully than the previous episode. The game's getting tough. You know, it's level two. And uh, Kato in Motion and I totally play video games on YouTube three nights a week. If this is your first time in Hammercat Games, consider hitting like and subscribe if you like our content. We stream live on Monday evenings, Tuesday evenings, and tonight's Friday. Friday is beating up the news. Also, don't forget to smash that notification button so that you know when new videos come out, although we just told you when they come that out. Bell, that bell helps. icon, that's critical. Yeah, that's really important. Goes Kato. a long way. All right, what do we have here? <laughs> what does the Daily Bootlicker have us? The Daily Bootlicker. Smash the union. Smash the like button. Unions linked to communist plot to steal our precious bodily fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I really didn't see that one coming at the end. I'm glad we're a commun- we're, We are the best communist channel to give stock picks on the whole of YouTube. Yep. Oh, jeez. There needs to be some kind of slogan, communist stock picks, you know? It just, I mean, just something that makes no sense, so you're obviously like- No one's gonna buy that shirt making in fun North of America. <laughs> It's like the, so the, the, what is it, like the worker, the hammer and sickle, but just yep. like also the hammer for the New York Stock Exchange bell, you know, <laughs> like somehow combine those. All right. Uh, communist <laughs> plot to steal our precious bodily fluids. What about the freedom to work till you die? I do like this wow, game. This game's cheeky. That was left savage. Okay, cool. All right. I think a lot of people are having their hand forced on that one. These look like booby traps. The the cow pats? Those are just cow pats? Okay. I'm, I mean, maybe. <laughs> it's my first time seeing this, just like you. I need that ammo, man. Uh, but I know these fools oh, are going to run on, in. Hang on, hang on. I'm just being more cautious this time, you know? I agree. Oh, jeez. You said I agree and then proceeded to get hurt. No, I want to run behind it and hit it from the gas tank because I think it destroys them faster. So our our drones, our Bernie bros, are not very are smart. not very bright. Oh, jeez. Wow. Wait. Oh, man. So I think if you kill the sheriff? Yeah. Before you kill the other guys, the other guys join you because that's what it looked oh, like. Oh, that's smart though. Wait, wait. Hit a brick on the on the thing. Hit a brick on the thing. You know? Wow, my aim's horrible. Okay. This was not effective. Oh no, that's not good. Let's... You're throwing Molotov cocktails. Yeah, I, I ran out of bricks. Okay. Okay, now I got 15. All right. Let's just walk around this slowly. Okay. We're being way more cautious. 
Oh, geez. Tree. You know, for for a riot, this is pretty well thought out. I mean, we're not even riot. <laughs> Relevant. <laughs> for a riot. Oh my gosh, a baseball bat. I'm going to be like Ness from Earthbound. Noise. I love Earthbound. Okay, ready? Oh, man, I'm going in. Bats are blazing. Oh, my oh God. yeah, this is like worms. It's a whole run it. bat. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, I love worms. Isn't it, though? It is. Like these big this baseball bats? Oh, yeah. New favorite weapon. I'm going to baseball bat this truck. Get, get. Who's a communist baseball player? I mean, Joe DiMaggio married Marilyn Monroe. Yep. See? Okay, guys, make sure you kill the sheriff on this level. Joe DiMaggio before. married Marilyn Monroe, and she was, like, allegedly friends with communists during the Red Scare, when everybody was friends with communists, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> so, Joe community. DiMaggio. I'm a real DiMaggio here. That was a really loose connection. <laughs> Something's happening inside of this crate. Uh, surprise. They surprised us. Run. Booyah. Oh, there's more. Nice. We're doing better. Much better. Okay, let's keep our wait, guys wait. back here. Wait, wait. Keep your distance. Probably would have been better to kill you, but... Didn't want to accidentally kill our guys again. Let's leave our guys back here again. Okay, wait. Yeah, leave them back. That's got some range. That guy's on fire. Okay, let's see. Do I got a bomb? I do. Oh my gosh, the aim. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm behind it. Oh, we made it. Man, I think this is like the... See? Ooh, yeah. We just gotta be Okay, patient. well, when you play the game carefully... And obtain throwing wood axe. Achievement unlocked. Three cogs, guys. Hey! So when you play the game cautiously and slowly... You're a cog in a wheel. Um, that's kind of the opposite of beat-em-ups, like the spirit yeah. of them, but you know, it's a modern beat-em-up. I really like this game. I, I I'm really getting into cool. this game. I thought I'm really it was going to be a little too game. simplistic at first, but I, I like think the we, game mechanics. I think maybe we judged it by the uh, pixel art. Because the pixel art is a bit 8-bit. It's not so much 16-bit big sprites. It's like 8-bit kind of smaller sprites here. It looks like NES, in other words. Yeah. Obviously modernized, like the wind blowing through the flags, is that's too modern. But it looks like NES, not SNES. Yeah. Or yeah. it doesn't look like MAME. Like the, the, okay, it's a little better than NES, let's be honest. What I mean is it's modernized. It's like, it's yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like Shovel Knight, you know? Yeah. That's, they're going for an 8-bit vibe, not a 16-bit vibe, so... I think that's why we judged it, but yeah, the gameplay is... It's pretty solid. And they keep adding weapons. It keeps getting more complex. Got the home run bat. I love it. It's like worms. It's like Smash Bros or it's worms. Like, it's like Smash oh, Bros. Oh, yeah, it's true. I love it. Okay, guys. Well, we only had two news stories this week, not three, but... um. Yeah. Well, it's a busy week. It, it was a busy week. And we certainly... <laughs> The length of the stream was longer than when we had three stories, so... Yeah. <laughs> not sure how much it matters. At any rate, thank you guys so much for watching Hammercat Games. Don't and forget this... to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's Friday evening. Don't forget, uh, Kato in Motion, my co-host to my right, your left, he, um, but not far left, he streams on Monday nights. Um, he does League of Legends. He plays the game League of Legends and gives uh, talks about financial news and maybe some stock pick strategy. Um, can you elaborate on that a little bit, uh, Kevin? Maybe talk about what you guys like to do on Monday nights? Well, you can watch me play League like a boss. I'm actually really terrible. I'm starting from the very beginning. I had uh, some training a few years ago for my Korean roommate. Didn't learn much. Um, going to be talking some more financial news and business and uh, how that affects some of your stock picks. Uh, I am a retail trader, but I do swing trade mm, at least four times a week. I'm constantly trading stocks. So yeah, man, let's talk some strategy and play some league. Badly.
Very cool. On Tuesday evenings, I play City Skylines, and as specific with uh, with some added mods, I do what's called a City Skylines No Car Challenge. So if you want to see me build a city without the use of personal cars or taxis, it's actually quite difficult because Not all your possible. yeah, no, it's possible. All your residents just run around like fiends. So what I love to do is I love to build um, foot walking paths. You know. So you can build like tunnels and over the top of roads and all there sorts of stuff. Are there horses in the city? No, no. But there's public transit, of course. Like you can <laughs> take bus. I'm not limiting. So there's, I, you still get to use commercial trucks. You still get to use, like there are rules buses? to this challenge. Buses. Well, all you do is you ban taxis and personal cars. Okay. That's it. So police, fire, hospital. It actually makes the roads less busy, but the, it's city skylines. The roads still manage to get busy somehow. That. That game is good at creating traffic, that's for sure. <laughs> and on Friday nights, we do Beating Up the News, where we talk about this week's hottest top stories, at least from our perspective. <laughs> and we play uh, Beat 'em Up video games. Um, the first one we're getting into is Tonight We Riot, as you can see here. So, yeah. yeah. So I hope you'll uh, join us on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday next week. Thanks for joining us tonight, guys. Hope what you time? Had a good time. 7 p.m. GMT plus two. That's right, because it's summertime. It'll be summertime. GMT plus one for about a couple weeks there in the autumn. But for now, it's GMT plus two. Here, local Brussels time. Yes. Yeah. So hope to see you guys again next week. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Take care.